What is going on you guys? Welcome back to another episode of Gray Bear Fitness. Uh, as you guys may have seen in some of my previous vlogs, I'm back in this beautiful back scenery here. Um, slightly near where I live and it's a little different where they're kind of raising and lowering the water. Actually where I'm sitting at right now, I'd probably be soaked in water right now, but I believe that they in Orlando drain this lake for different things. Um, anyway, uh, so just little updates of what's going on in my life. Just um, took a week off the gym and I'm actually going to post something a little bit about it on my Instagram. So Instagram's at Watson Alexander, guys, go check that out. But um, I believe, you know, training eight weeks on and taking a week off to do, to do different things and give your body and, time and uh, you know, mind time to relax is very important to grow. Um, but today's topic of discussion, uh, and I wanted to sit out here because it's very relaxing and peaceful. I've been thinking about doing this for a couple days, um, is don't let shattered dreams shatter your dreams. Um, and the reason I was uh, coming up with this topic and it popped into my head as soon as I had this discussion with somebody. Um, so I was at work one day, as you guys know, uh, if you do follow my Instagram or just any of my previous videos, I'm also doing security at a martini lounge. I was working the front door. And uh, this guy came up to me, you know, he, he came in, we were chatting a little bit, didn't talk too much, much to him because I was dealing with the line coming in. Um, and on his way out, you know, somehow we started talking about uh, school and education and things like that. Uh, dude's a, a, an engineer from the Middle East and Afri in East Africa, uh, which is phenomenal. Um, you know, kudos to anybody who's, you know, uh, in the engineering field because it's a very hard field. That's actually something I was entering Penn State for. And, my math scores were too low for that, um, but uh, we had started talking about that, and you know, he and he asked me, you know, was I going back to school or anything like that, and I told him no. And as soon as I started to tell him what I wanted to do, he he just kept talking over me. Um, the guy was 60 years old. Um, he was from the Middle East, and he kept talking over me. He was like, uh, you know, no, don't do this. You know, you don't waste your life doing this. You know, go back to school, get a degree. You know. Uh, what you're doing is stupid and these are his exact words he was like don't be a pansy don't be stupid you know be an alpha be a warrior like me and it's crazy because my co-worker said that he took like a stance where he looked like he wanted to fight me um i mean i personally didn't think that but the guy came off very aggressive and uh i usually don't talk about conversations with people but i think this is something that's very important for you guys to hear um so uh he kept going on and on and then, uh you know he's like you know so you know, he's like, don't waste your time with fitness, you know, don't do this, don't do that, you know, you can make great money doing this. And uh, I tried say, stating to him my beliefs about the education system here versus other countries. Um, I do know in other countries, if some of you guys don't know that, some people do go to school seven days a week, whether they have the same kind of facilities we do or not. Um, and they don't have break systems, like breaks like we do, you know, like winter vacation, spring vacation, things like that. And then I tried to explain to him my beliefs uh, personally on the value of the degree. Um, what it is now versus what it used to be and I'll actually kind of link that video in the uh, annotation outro at the end of this um, but he just kept going on and on and on you know he then, then began talking about the women he's slept with and, and this and that and it was just and at that point I kind of just leaned up against the pillar um, that was right there uh, by the entrance and then just uh, you know just listen to what he had to say and the crazy thing is is that when uh, someone kind of talks I guess shit to what you want to do in life you're gonna feel some type of way unless you are so certain that that's what you want to do in life then you're gonna have the attitude if you don't give a fuck and you know what's crazy is if that guy had talked to me like that a couple years ago when I was younger I probably would have cried my eyes out because at that point I had no clue what I wanted to do you know at that point I wasn't sure if I wanted to go to school or not you know pursue this passion or that passion um, and you know, over time, me developing the, per the young man I am today, and, and what I want to do in life, and you know, what I want the belief to instill in others, uh, it wasn't a monetary base of why I started doing what I'm doing. It was just something that kind of over time, the path I chose to take. You know, um, I never got into personal training to take money. Uh, and my clients, if any of you guys are my who are watching this, have been my clients or just simple friends of mine will know that. Um, and I think that people in life should realize that there's more to life than money. And if anyone has to come to you and tell you how alpha they are, or you know, tell you how to live your life, then there's something at some point in time that they're not happy with. You know, I've met so many people at my job because my job is so beneficial for networking. 
I've met so many people at my job who've made so much money and are not happy, you know, and they'll tell you that, you know, do what you want to do in life while you're young and you have the time because you do it spending something that time that you don't want to do. Uh, you'll look back and realize, you know, wow, I wish I had done this when I was 20 or 30 or 40 years old. And by all means, if you are those ages now, that does not mean that you have a timestamp on when you should start doing something, you know, but um, that's what I want to tell you guys is that uh, there, you're always going to run into people who, who are going to annotate and try and tell you tell you something. And I, and I totally understand where the guy was coming from um, because not taking risks, and I believe taking, you know, an education and you know uh, degree like path I, I think that there are, there are obviously going to be risks to take whether you're going to pursue this path or that path um, but I don't think that's for everyone and it's crazy because growing up I used to think that going to school was the most important thing you know I felt college was the most important thing and if you didn't go to college you were stupid and it's crazy because my life is the total opposite now I'm not in school anymore um, for different reasons financial things like that um, but people are always going to tell you something and I think it's great that if someone can give you insight on how to maybe choose a different path in life but for someone to kind of tell you that you know you should you should do this and you should do that and uh, they approach it at the point where you have to listen to them um, it almost insights is that kind of how they're feeling about their life um, and if and the crazy thing for me I think the, the most proud thing about that situation for me is that I just didn't care. And in the sense of, I did want to hear what the guy had to say. Because I do feel like when you talk to someone and they want to give information to you, uh, whether you're going to use it or not, it's great to listen to it. But I was shocked at that, how much I didn't care that someone thought what I was doing was, as his words, fucking stupid. Um, I actually was standing there smiling and, you know, I, I, I listened to everything he had to say, you know. Um, and it's like... When you develop, when when you grow up as a person and you start growing into what you want to do and you see it start growing itself, not everyone's going to see the same thing that you do, you know. And as long as you keep true to that vision, you're going to go to where you need to, you know. As long the time you put into something is the time you get out, you know. You want to put five minutes into something a day, then you're going to get shit. Um, whether it's what someone wants you to do, whether it's what he does, your girlfriend, your boyfriend, whatever. Um, at the end of the day, it is your life, and you have so long to live it. You know, there's so many different things out here in life that I've learned to do and experience. At the end of the day, I realized that um, life isn't about money. Um, it's about the experiences and self-decisions that you as an individual make. And that's a message I wanted to get across to you guys. Um, Gary Fitness is checking out, guys, for online coaching. Um, fitness apparel as you guys know i started doing a little clothing and things like that garybrightfitness.com um, all the rest of my social media is in my bio remember guys stay true to your dreams anyone who's going to tell you how to live their life clearly has had their shattered at some point you know take the information in whether you use it or not um is up to you and believe what you believe